Hey guys, I am here today looking at the new Brooks Glycerin 20. Now, they've changed a lot about the glycerin over the last few years, and I think at the moment that this is probably their best update to date. So what we've got through here to start with, the upper, the upper feels really nice, really premium, really happy with what it is. Obviously, this is Brooks top of the range neutral shoe. And yeah, the way that they put it together, the materials that they've used feels really nice, really plush, plush, really premium. So yeah, happy with that big tick for it. They haven't got gussets on the tongue, so the tongue can move around a little bit. Um, it's not too much of an issue though, once you've got the shoe on, but just putting it on, it means sometimes that you do need to hold the tongue in place. And I do like a slightly gusseted side just to hold it into position. Through the top, we've got a mesh, um, dual mesh at the front, but still fairly breathable and feels really nice inside as well. So again, I'll go back to how it felt a lot more premium this shoe does and they've gone all the way through the shoe not just through the outside but also the insides of the top as well the lacing system's good um, i've got no problems there locks down your foot nicely um, has the little taped parts at the side just to add an extra bit of stability you've obviously got your extra lace holes slightly further back for those who need to have their foot locked in that little bit better the sole itself, so the sole is a nitrogen infused foam that Brooks is using. Look, it's not the best foam on the market, like for energy return or anything else. And Brooks is lacking behind a little bit in terms of their foam technologies at the moment and what they've got available. But for this shoe, this foam is absolutely perfect. So where we've got a neutral shoe, it's got a firm back to it to hold your foot into place where they've used the slightly softer, more responsive foam. The heel cup holds the back up as well. Really, really plush around the outside to stop any sort of rubbing, blistering. Feels really, really nice around your ankle. But back to the sole, yeah, the foot sits into the foam that little bit more. Obviously, you've got your Glycerin GTS versions, which have slightly higher um, parts on the outside as well and the inside just to try and create a little bit more stability and I can see why that they've done a version of that for this shoe so once I put the shoe on it feels great like I've got no problems with it whatsoever um, but it is a little bit on the soft side inside and outside so it's not the most stable and I wouldn't say that it's going to be great for any runner who does have any instability issues. I think that they're going to have a few problems with going one way or the other. If you've got a good neutral foot type, absolutely fine. If you're overly heavy, I think that you might have an issue with it as well. But for everyone else, for a daily runner, extra comfort, even walking in, this is absolutely fine and it will be a good go-to shoe. The outsole, so the outsole, we've got a nice layer of durable foam. It doesn't cover the whole thing and that cuts down and saves a little bit of weight, but it's on the places that we basically need. I like how they've put it through the arch area as well, just to try and create a little bit more contact and stability through that area. Um, but yeah, look, overall, it's a good shoe. For the next versions, I'm not entirely sure what Brooks is gonna do to improve this, to be honest, unless they come out with a different foam that might be a little bouncier, like might be a little bit more responsive, or even try and pack more foam into it. So the way that the Asics Nimbus has gone, where they are increasing that stack height slowly but surely, and bring it into their more premium, more cushioned models, they could possibly do that. But again, that might put the weight of the shoe up as well. So this one here was coming in at 230 grams for a US 11 and a half, which is pretty good. And that's right on par with the Asics Nimbus as well. So as long as they can keep it in that weight range with some extra foam, I think that that would be good for Brooks to go to next. I'd like to thank Athletes for a Pacific Fair for supplying us with the shoes here today. I hope you've enjoyed the review. We'll see you soon.